Good day, everybody. We're updating the Dow Jones on a daily chart with that big reversal. Dow was down 133 points on the close on Friday on 110 of 2020. So that uh, first good week of January is already into the tape. And once again, we are extremely overbought still, and there are processes. This is our platform and our charting. We own this. We built it. And we know exactly what's going on with it and what the diamonds mean. They're machines. They're high-frequency bots that are used in the actual exchanges and how these things move. So basically, we broke down here with the red bar, which is greater value than the previous half bar. So let's just take a look. We'll take a look down here. We'll go ahead and open this up a little bit more. There we go. We'll pull this up, and this is our platform. It's mathematical. It does not lie. So let's just take a look and see what that half bar was. That was 28,899.08. So basically, when you break below it, the print was uh, 28, uh, 823.7. The high was 29.09 as it was on the intraday level, which was a psychological number at this pass at 29,000 going into a major earnings season with stocks, uh, stocks are priced to perfection at the current levels. So therefore, there's going to be increased volatility. We will know when that volatility will pick up in the Dow as along with the other indexes with the earnings season. Um, if equities miss, then there will be some very big negative surprises because expectations are at their all-time highs. Not only at their all-time highs, the uh, ratio uh, indexes that we built using our power management systems uh, are all at their very, very highs. And that is across the board on those mathematical readings which indicate to me that we will go lower and we are going to go lower uh great bull market runs have to have shakeouts and shakeouts create buying opportunities uh every time that we had made a low we had popped right back up you can see the diamonds they don't lie and we got to the high ratio bam there's that last diamond right here at 28.23 on the close. So negative 133 on the Dow. Once again, the complacency factors are in the uh, market. That means that the fear factor is not even high at all, not even close to even it's at all time lows. And when the fear factors are at all time lows over a few weeks or a month, or there will be volatility that will catch up with that. Um, complacency is a bad thing. When you're overbought, people do get complacent and whatnot. So that's part of what goes on and these exchanges, this is a Dow 30 with 30 stocks, and one of those 30 stocks missing the index, then they go lower. So as we move forward into next week, you just need to be aware that the tops always start like this to qualify. The big red bar breaking below the previous big high that we had and there's the blow off at 2909 that's sitting there and a negative 133 close so this is how they start uh we'll take a look and see what happens uh next week is a big week with the financial earnings and all kinds of things coming out uh to markets along with the calendar earnings yes price volatility will increase and it will. So beware of that and whatnot. And what we're looking for is that when we do hit support levels, is where does that bull market bounce back at? 
and then being able to get good call options or good put options. If stocks are going down, then we would want put options when they go down with big red one, big red candle like that, as an example. So Dow Jones, 30, 30 stocks. Uh, reversal. Volatility to follow. We will monitor the support levels to see how good the bull would bounce off of those levels. So 28,700 would be a good level for the Dow to bounce. 